My name is Thomas King and my book is The Inconvenient Indian, a curious account of native people in North America. I was aware of the prize. Uh, getting nominated always comes as a surprise. I mean, there are a great many writers out there and uh, uh, there's really no rhyme or reason to uh, who a jury is going to pick particularly. It depends on the individual. So, you know, if, if you're a writer, uh, you always hope that you might be nominated for one of the major prizes, but uh, you never really expect it. You don't, you, you don't write your book for a prize, at least I don't know anybody who does. This is my second non-fiction book. Uh, I, I suppose I, I don't naturally lean towards non-fiction. I like to make up the world, I like to create it, I like, I like to control it, but uh, there are certain matters, uh, certain ideas that uh, fiction doesn't handle as well as nonfiction might. And I suppose that's why I, I get into nonfiction every so often. The book, when I started writing The Inconvenient Indian, one of my problems was with form, how I was, how I was going to take a, a nonfiction topic and uh, make it readable, quite frankly, and especially native history. Uh, there are a great many really good books out there on Native history. Uh, many of them, uh, even though they contain a lot of information, tend to be a little bit on the dull side as far as reading goes. I wanted to see if I couldn't take that field of nonfiction and merge it with what I've learned as a literary writer. See if I couldn't make something uh, a bit more readable that had uh, perhaps a little bit more snap to it. Uh, and so uh, I tried to use some of the skills that I have in creating character, for instance, and dialogue in uh, this nonfiction piece. So those are some of the things that I tried to apply from that literary uh, background to nonfiction. One of the things I decided to do in the book was that I wanted to make it conversational. and then, as I was writing it, I, I wrote it in, third, in first person, and I discovered that I couldn't do it on my own all, as one character in that book. And so, uh, because my partner, uh, Helen Hoy, uh, sat over my shoulder through much of the writing telling me, you know, you can't do that. Did you remember to do this? And, and what about this? And don't forget about that land claim over there. And after a while of trying to block her out and just write the book, I thought, well, what the heck, you know, she's asked for it, I'll just put her in the book. And so it becomes, in the end, a conversation that I have with myself and with the topic, but also a conversation that I have with her. And for me, that was, that was, that was very handy. Uh, it, uh, it made the writing easier, it provided me with a second voice that could either ask questions or get on my case. Uh, that provided me a little bit more scope and range for writing the piece. Research on the book uh, actually began when I was in university, way back when. And so I had a fairly good bedrock of, uh, of uh, information on Native history before I even started the book. And then I went back and did all the research again. So uh, I suppose in the book I'm the person who comes up with all the facts and the ideas and uh, and uh, I, I sound very smart. <laughs> and uh, and it's, my, uh, it's my partner's job to, uh, to stop me in my tracks every so often, to make me reconsider what I've said, to turn my head in one direction or another, to remind me that, there are, that there's more than one answer to a particularly tricky question. Uh, and it, it allows me to sort of backtrack in the middle of this factual rant, if you will, and uh, take the edge off it and uh, make it palpable. Uh, one of the problems with Native history is that much of it is gruesome, just regular, downright gruesome. And if that's what you did, if you just sort of repeated those facts or if you just revisited those moments, then uh, you're going to lose your reader pretty quickly. So there has to be a kind of give and take, and Helen provides uh, part of that. My name's Thomas King, and my book is The Inconvenient Indian, a curious account of Native people in North America. Mm -hmm.